The average human body is made up of around 100 trillion cells, with different types carrying out different jobs. This means that even though they contain the same DNA, a skin cell will be different to a liver cell. To work out where they all come from, we need to go back to the start. We all start life the same way, with a sperm cell fusing with an egg cell to create an embryo. As the embryo develops, it divides, creating a whole bunch of undifferentiated cells which then go on to form every part of the body. These are the embryonic stem cells. These stem cells are the master templates which have the potential to become any type of cell in the body. So, understandably, scientists around the world are pretty interested in them. Embryonic stem cells can be collected from donated early stage human embryos once they form a ball of around 70 to 100 undifferentiated cells, called a blastocyst. They can then be taken, grown and maintained in cultures in the lab. In May of 2013, scientists in the US managed to generate them from adult cells using a process called somatic cell nuclear transfer. Somatic cells are the cells which make up the body, such as liver, brain, blood or skin cells. It's the same technique that was used to make Dolly the sheep. But how do they do it? The team started by taking an unfertilized human egg and removing the nucleus, which contains the DNA. They then took a skin cell called a fibroblast and inserted its nucleus into the emptied egg cell. Within 30 minutes, the cell had fused to generate an embryo. It's then zapped with electricity to kick off the growth. The fluid inside the cell, called cytoplasm, reprograms the DNA from the skin cell and allows it to return to a stem cell-like state. This means that the cell divides just like a normal embryo, producing stem cell after 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 stem cell. After stem cell. So, what can they be used for? The potential medical applications for this type of technology are widespread. Using neural stem cells, which generate brain cells, show that it might one day be possible to repair some of the damage caused by a stroke. Scottish researchers are currently working to develop synthetic blood cells, which could provide a new source of human blood for patients and reduce the demand on blood donors. And in future, scientists might even be able to grow replacement organs in the lab. If cells can be taken from a patient, then they can generate stem cells and grow a tailor-made replacement. Pretty big things from such a tiny little cell.